What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Westy's Angling. We're going to be doing a method feeder challenge today. Uh, as you can see from the trees behind me, autumn's in full swing. So we're going to use uh, slightly different tactics as we normally would. Uh, weather's awful today. There's not much wind, but it is raining. As you can tell, I am literally the only person that's bothered coming out fishing today. There's nobody else on the lake. I'm going to be fishing the method feeders on bite alarms today. I'm not going to be using tip. So I can sit back under my brolly shelter and I'm not going to get wet. The challenge that I'm going to be doing today is corn versus wafters and we'll see which is best at this time of year. I'm going to have two rods out and we'll just see which rod picks up the most fish. I fished this peg last week. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the top right hand corner for you now. But I had a good session. It was only a short morning session. So fingers crossed we have another good day. I'm going to be fishing blended up bread on the method feeder rather than ground bait. So we're going to keep it cheap. We're going to keep it simple and hopefully catch a few for you. If uh, any of you watched the last video, you know I got broke uh, on five pound line. So I won't be using any light hook links or anything like that. The fish have obviously still got some fight in power at this time of year sorry i'm just looking over here there's some bubbles coming up in the margin loads of bubbles that might be something that we try today down the margins if you haven't fished areas before i'll put the address in the description for you so you can come and have a nosy i know after watching my videos a subscriber come down here fished it and had a really good day so that's awesome so yeah if any of you want to give it a try i'm sure it'll be great over winter Right folks, so I'm all set up. Uh, bite alarms are on the rod pod, rods are together. I just need to put my hook links on. I'll show you what hook links I'm using today. I tied a couple up last night. I'm actually fishing a little bit stronger than I normally would at this time of year. I'm gonna go for eight pound hook links only because last week I got broke. Um, so I'm gonna wear on the side of caution and I can always scale down if I need to. So let's start off strong and if we need to scale down, we can scale down. I really don't think the heavier line puts the fish off when you're fishing the method feeder but I'm just using my Shimano 6000 reels uh, loaded with 8 pound line then a couple of small Preston Innovation method feeders now to get the bolt effect when you're fishing using method feeders on bite alarms you need to have something that's fairly tight into the bottom of the feeder so what I use is the size 11 quick change ring swivels now I've just got these off eBay very inexpensive I've never lost a hook link when using them because as I'll show you in a second this just pulls back into the method feeder and that secures your hook link in place when we get a take on this uh, these actually come out of the method feeder so it is semi fixed on the bolt these do come out so they're just tight enough that you're going to get the bolt effect but they're also not too tight that the fish is going to be left trailing a feeder if you get broke so that's really important so rods that i'm using are my grace prodigy tx specimen rods so these are only uh, one and a quarter test curve so we're going to get a nice action when we're playing the fish weather's taken a turn for the better and the wind started just breezing into this left hand corner here which uh, is probably good for us fishing really minimalist today i've just got some very finely blended up bread flake which will squeeze nicely around the method feeder and then break up on the bottom and expand now i've got my corn here now what i'm going to do and this is a really good tip don't throw away your water from your corn. I'm just gonna drizzle this over that bread flake. And that'll just give it a bit of flavor and a bit of dampness just so it sticks better to the method feeder. The other thing we're gonna be using is these 10 mil band and wafters. I'm gonna pair the corn and the wafters with a size 12 feeder hook. Okay, so that's really important that you balance your, your hook bait with the size of the feeder hook. 10 mil I find 12s are a perfect size. Uh, they're quite a big 12s, but 10 mils, size 12, size 10, you need a fairly big hook to balance them, okay? So that's really important that the hook bait needs to be critically balanced. Obviously corn's a fairly big hook bait, so we're gonna be fine with size 12s, and I'm gonna be fishing both of them on the same rig, so they're both gonna be banded uh, on the size 12s, like I said. So it's going to be a fur test and we're going to see which one wins the 10 mil wafters or the corn at the end of the session. 
Um, like I said, I've just got my chair set up there. I've got my tripod so we can stick you on the tripod and you'll be able to see if we get a take. But absolutely lovely day today. I don't know why nobody else is fishing. It's school holidays, so people might be going away or busy, who knows. But I'm not on holiday, I'm fishing, so I'm going to get some carp caught. Right, guys, let's get our hook links on. Like I said, these quick change swivels here just pull out. I'm just going to hook our hook link. So the hook links are about three and a half inch and they go to a size 12. There's a little bit of rig tubing, just keeping that hair in place on the shank of the hook there. And then I've just got my band. So nice, simple, easy setup, easy enough to tie at home. And then I'm just gonna pull that swivel back into the feeder there, as you can see, not all the way in, but most of the way in. And that's good to go. So let's get a wafter on it. Get our mould. Right, so I'm just going to fill up the mould with a little bit of bread. Push our hook and bait into that. Put some more bread over the top, squeeze it in tight. Bread squeezes really tight together. And you want it to stay on on the cast. So, we'll just squeeze that in. And this is going to be perfect. If anything, it works better than ground bait. Look at that. How awesome is that as a little package? And the carp will go crazy for that. 40p for a full bucket of ground bait. So, with everything going up, if you want to save a few quid, this is the way to do it. And this will work all the way through winter and summer. Very, very low feed bread. Now, check at the fishery that you're at, because um, some fisheries don't like you using bread feed, but most fisheries will. So there you go, nice and easy, that's ready to be cast out. Tighten that up a bit, take our drag, yeah we're okay there. So I'm going to fish this one just over to that aerator, not too close because we don't want to get snagged around it like last week. Sink my line, Put my bail arm on, put my bait runner on, and I'm just going to set that rod in there with the first ring against the bite alarm. Put a bobbin on, pull some line off. Now I've got a really tight bait runner on here. Now the reason I do that is you want the fish just to be able to take line. You don't want it too slack. So the fish can actually throw the hook bait using the weight of the feeder, but I'm really confident that's gonna go off pretty quick. So let's get this other one in the water. All right, let's get our second hook link on. Well, a lot of you have said to me, Westy, why don't you use a bait stop? I don't know, I just, this is just the, my preferred way of doing it. I like banding it. I think the bands are soft and they won't put the fish off as much. And they don't come off. That's like perfectly secure. It's a great presentation. I've just had a bleep on that first one that we've put out on the wafter. Wafter's got a little bit of a head start. Still nobody else fishing on the lake, it's just me here. And this bread feed will probably last two sessions to be honest, but I usually bin it after the first session. It's better when it's fresh and soft. So there we go, corn ready to go out. Really confident we're gonna catch today, guys. It's on. Fishing. All right, there we go, I've got bite cam on. So hopefully we pick up a bite today at some point. I don't think it'll be too long. You wanna see how bubbles coming up here at margin? You can't really see them on GoPro, but. Probably about six foot out from side, all the way down. Which is about where I've got this right hand feeder. Just out from here, can you see that? If I don't get anything over by the aerator on this first cast, I'll bring this one closer in as well, I think. It's a mild day, it's about 14 degrees, so.
Well guys, I actually think that was a liner. <laughs> Biggest liner I've ever had in my life, but let's get it back out there. That was close in. So there's bubbles coming up again just out. Just where the feeder is, so it's, it's literally not going to be long until we get a fish. But that last fish must have swam through the line and actually picked it up because the rod tip went right round. Um, there was definitely nothing hooked, so... Well, we're in, guys. Taking line. Drop me GoPro. <laughs> You'll have to manage with this view for now. Battery's gonna die, though. Well, first fish is on the corn. Really nice rods, these Gray's Prodigy rods. Nice and soft. Ideal for smaller carp like this. Feels alright, don't feel massive, but can never tell at Harry's little mirror. Mental. Oh. Right, let's take him over to the unhooking mat and have a look. Three or four pounder. Nice fish. Corn stayed on. So, like I said, the band works just as well. I might need my disgorger here. It's, it's hooked right in the side of his mouth. Just about. First one for the corn. Right, I'm going to make a prediction that corn's going to come out on top today. Absolutely awesome autumn bait. Well, awesome year round bait to be honest. And look at that, corn's still on. I'm going to reuse it. I'll swap the rods over halfway through the challenge. So they both get a fair chance on each side, just in case one side's fishing better than the other. What do you think guys? Do you think it's going to be the wafters or the corn that wins today? Comment down below. This rain's coming down now. Nothing better than this in my opinion. Sat under a brolly shelter. Your rods are out. Very peaceful. Nobody else on the lake. Got it to myself. Like I've said to you before, the only couple of bad things about Harry's is the containers, like that one over there, just a little bit of an eyesore and the fact that it's next to a quarry, um, so it can get really noisy. Well, both rods have been in about 20 minutes now. It's just coming up to 10 o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a recast. I'm gonna try further out this time um, to just probably this side of the aerator. Right, let's put a fresh piece of corn on. We'll put the corn out on this side. Like I said, over to the aerator. Perfect, that. Like I said, I don't want to be too close to it. So there's still bubbles coming up there. Like a 
generator. Steady pressure, steady pressure. Right. Small fish this, yep. Another one for the corn. Well, I've lost my feeder. It's an F1, this. Feeder's done what it's designed to do and uh, dropped it because it was such a violent take. Well, 2 0 to the corn. And I'm one feeder down, so I'll have to find another one to put on. <laughs> Let's put another 30 gram feeder on. I'll try and come a bit closer in this time. I'll do. Well, I'll be honest with you. It's not as full on a day as I thought it was going to be. I thought we'd do really well off this bread and corn, to be honest. Like I say, I came last week and fished the cage feeder and I had a really good session. And it was only a short session as well. I was only here for a few hours and I was getting um, a fish every cast. going to rush it because it feels decent. It's running. It's holding bottom. I wonder if it's a barbel. There are a few barbel in here, not many. said even the small ones fight hard so it's difficult to uh, judge their size and the mirror definitely a nice fish got some nice colors on it there we go and that was on the wafter fish that definitely over five pound really nice colors on it very dark oh right in the corner of the mouth I think I'd go as far as saying that's not far off seven pound look at that Lovely mirror carp. Got some parasites on him. On his tail. Those carp lice. That's not a good sign. I hope the uh, fishery is not become infested with them. Let me show you them quickly. Look, can you see all these? They're lice. And around the gills there and you can see some scarring where they've been on its back so that's not a good sign that's all this is uh, what happened at charity farm and then the fishing went really bad so hopefully it's not an infestation but what a nice fish like I said about seven pound back in the margin again. Right, so it's 2-1. Anybody's game at the minute. It's 
See, there's only two differences between this week and last week. I'm fishing the same peg, but last week, like I said, I was fishing cage feeders with a longer hook link, but the main thing is the wind was blowing into me, and I know that the fish follow the wind at Harry's, so if you can see that, it's blowing right into that opposite corner. I can see fish crashing along it. So that's probably why it's a quiet day. But when I come this morning, it was pretty still. So I wasn't sure which way the wind was going to blow. But that's probably why we're having a slow day. Now, if I was doing a longer session today, I would probably move. I've only got until uh, early afternoon, so... There's no point in me moving. We'll just start, try and pick up the odd few fish. Well, as you can see, the weather's taking a turn for the worse. Still only on them three fish. Okay folks, so I'm going to call it a day there. Um, I've had a few fish so I can't complain for a short morning autumn session. I was expecting it to be a little bit better based on uh, how last week was. But like I say, I can't complain. I've had a few fish and we've got out on the bank. If I was to uh, do something a little bit differently, I'd have probably fished on the opposite bank today. If I knew which way the wind was going to be blowing this morning. Look at this rainbow look. But sometimes you can't predict the weather conditions and how they're going to change. So to sum up, Corn won this little challenge, <laughs> even though if it was only with two fish against one fish. Um, but it seemed to be uh, getting the quicker bites anyway. So thanks for watching this session and I'll see you in the next Westies Angling.